hats today in this tutorial i am going to tell you how to crochet the spring stitch this is one of my most favorite stitch and i loved it because you can uh, use it in any of your projects that's maybe a scarf or in cardigan dress and even on for the edging also so in any way you can use this stitch pattern and it's equally beautiful as it is useful so i am going to tell you in this tutorial um how to keep the ending if you want you can if you uh, end your project uh, like this or if you want if in you, you can uh, keep the ending as like this uh, this zigzag uh, way any way you can just keep it whether the zigzag way or the other one so in this tutorial i'll be teaching you both the ways so let's start For this stitch you need chains multiple of 4 plus 3 extra So I took 20 chains now I'll be adding 3 extra chain Now skip these 3 chains 1 2 and 3 and into the fourth chain from hook place two single crochet one more into the same stitch chain 2 place two single crochet into the next stitch Keep the next two stitches, one and two, and into the next stitch place two single crochet. Chain two, place two single crochet into the next stitch. next two stitches and into the next place two single crochet chain 2 and into the next stitch place two single crochet two stitches and into the next place two single crochet chain 2 two. two single crochet into the next stitch so it's little bit confusing in the do one always yeah. but once you do the next rows then the stitch comes out really beautiful so you would have understood the pattern for this row skip two stitches into the next place two single crochet chain 2 into the next stitch place two single crochet in the end of the row you will be left with two more stitches so skip the next stitch and into the next place a single crochet For row two, chain three, and remember this row two is the repetition round. So after doing chain three, turn your work, 
and find the chain to space so we are not going to work into the stitches we are going to find the chain to space all the way long and we are going to work on that into that chain to space so this is my first chain to space and i am going to place two single crochet into that space chain 2 and two single crochet into the same space Now move to the next space, chain 2 space here, place 2 single crochet into the next chain 2 space, chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space. Move to the next chain 2 space and place 2 single crochet into the next space chain 2 2 single crochet into the same space move to the next chain 2 space here and place 2 single crochet into the next space chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space move to the very last chain 2 space here and place 2 single crochet into the same space chain 2 2 single crochet into the same space this is the chain 3 space and into this chain 3 space i hope you remember that we skip 3 chains and into the next stitch we continued our pattern so this is the space uh, the chain 3 space and into the chain 3 space place a single crochet and the pattern the row 2 pattern continues so if you understood then you can just stop the video here and if you didn't then i'm going to show you another row and that's all the rows would be just a repetition of row 2 placing making chain 3 1 2 and 3 turn your work and into this chain 2 space here we are not going to work in any stitches all the way long we are going to work just into the space and into the very first chain 2 space place 2 single crochet chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space now move to the next chain 2 space here and into this chain 2 space place 2 single crochet chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space move to the next chain 2 space in here and place 2 single crochet into the next space chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space move to the next chain 2 space in here and place 2 single crochet into the same space 
chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space. Move to the next chain 2 space and it's the last one. So into the space place 2 single crochet. Chain 2 and 2 single crochet. Now find the chain 3 space. Okay, and into this chain 3 space place a single crochet. And the pattern continues of placing chain 3. Turn your work. And into the chain 2 space place 2 single crochet, chain 2 and 2 single crochet into the same space. And the pattern continues till the end of the row. So let me make some more rows and I'll get back to you then. So here I made some more rows. And this is one of my most favorite stitch pattern and it looks really very beautiful if you are making your scarves out of this stitch, even in blankets and do you know I love this zigzag pattern uh, in the end and I even love to uh, work this stitch pattern in the border of my uh, any projects and it looks really very beautiful even in the edge. Okay, I just have to show you something. I am now working uh, on a cardigan and I gave it as a border on the neckline. Uh, just a minute, I'll show you more clearly. So this is just the neckline of my cardigan. I'm just working on it. It isn't finished yet. I have to work. I just started making it. And I was just testing whether it would look good in the edge or not and it looked really very beautiful I just loved the way it looked on my neckline see here it looks really very really good and for uh, I just uh, made the uh, yoke of my cardigan with double crosses stitches and once I am satisfied with the yoke part then I created the armhole by joining but after that I am thinking uh, to add the same stitch in the body and I am doing so and for the body part also it's looking beautiful I have to make some more um, rows of this still it completes and even I'll be uh, working on the A's with the same stitch with this color so once it's completed I'll surely show you and so okay that's it I just had to show you and for I have to say something else also uh, this uh, stitch looks beautiful both the way okay even from the back side and from the front side also the side it was facing me while uh, I was doing the row one uh, okay so this is that side and for me I feel like this side is more beautiful but you can even put the back side uh, as the right side if you loved the big one so in my another tutorial I'll also show you uh, like how to uh, work this stitch pattern on the edge so it's uh, it will look really beautiful if you want you can um, even add two to four rows on the edge or you can just work uh, one uh, row in the edge and it will look equally beautiful all right another thing also i have to say you in case if you don't like the way it's uh, like this zigzag yeah, the ending is like zigzag so if you don't want this zigzag then you can always uh, do something I'll just show you so if uh, you have you feel like you are in the end of your project whatever you are making and you didn't love the ending this way in a zigzag way then you can always make a uh, chain 3 and turn your work and 
place a slip stitch in the chain 2 space here place a slip stitch and again chain 3 and place a slip stitch in the chain 2 space and you can continue this pattern till the end of the row chain 3 and slip stitch into the chain 2 space chain 3 and slip stitch into this very last space then chain 3 and single crochet into this last chain 3 space and now this is how it looks so it's completely uh, on you whether you love the ending this way or you love it in the zigzag way so both the ways you can do it so hope you love the tutorial see you in my next video till then goodbye